Meantime, Memorial Day weekend brings celebrations and festivals around the county, including the return of the popular Latino food festival and the Basque Festival. 70's Marco Torres joins us live from the Kern County Museum with more. So Marco, how's it going out there? Moses, right now we're nearing the Moses. Right now we're nearing the beginning of the climax for the food festival here at the Kern County uh, Museum. Now I want to show you guys the empty space that's right here behind me. This space is actually going to be filled with thousands of people in just mere minutes uh, as we get to the, the big headliner that's going to be getting on stage. Now the festival's been going on throughout the day, but people are ready to celebrate. Memorial Day weekend is packed with festivals and celebrations across Kern County. The Latino Food Fest has seen thousands of people show up throughout the day, returning for the first time since 2019. Every year has been absolutely amazing, and this is our first year back from COVID, and it's an amazing turnout. The Kern County Hispanic Chamber of Commerce organizing the event. The Latino Food Fest features dozens of vendors, musicians, and events. Food competitions are a favorite. One of the most competitive categories is pozole, a traditional Mexican super stew. We found last year's winner and a new contender gunning for first place with a unique spin on the classic dish. We have vegan pozole here. It's 100% plant-based. I make it with jackfruit and soy. So there's no animal product whatsoever. It's good for the planet and good for you as well. Meantime, the Kern County Basque Club hosted its 48th annual Basque Festival in South Bakersfield, hosting hundreds of people with music, food, dancing, and games. It's just a great day to, to be with family, to be with friends, and just to celebrate, you know, what, what makes us unique, and just to have a good time. Moses, the Latino Food Festival is going to continue on for another hour as people celebrate the night away. Live from Kern County uh, History, Mark Torres, 17 News.